I've got a bad feeling about today. My hunches are usually right. I have no idea what's going to go wrong, but I know something horrible's gonna happen. That's not it. This little accident was too simple. I wish there was some way to avoid fate. But the last time I had this kind of premonition and tried to keep something awful from happening, it didn't help. Bad luck found me anyway. And the feeling's even worse today. Overpowering, even. <laughs> This is terrifying. Is she seriously a model? Every time I close my eyes, I see that weird model's face. I never should have opened that magazine earlier. Listen, are you sure you're not just remembering that model's face the wrong way? Maybe it was an unflattering picture is all, you know? Otherwise, why would they use someone so creepy looking? That's stupid. I don't know, Oda. By this point, the memory is so messed up in my brain that all I can see is a monster every time I think of it. Forget about her, Iwasaki. How's the script coming along? It's not. How are we gonna film this movie without a script? You can't slack off on our club stuff. I've been trying to work, okay? Don't tell me this dumb model has you freaked out that much, dude. If you don't want to do it, I'll get someone else to. The submission deadline for the contest is coming up. I know, I know. I never saw the photo of that fashion model again, but still, I couldn't shake the warped image of her that I had in my head. Thankfully, as time passed, that memory started to fade. The script clenched it. Nah, it was your camera work that they loved. Oh, don't go getting modest on me now. Don't forget about my incredible lights. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta admit, I never dreamed we'd win the grand prize with this film. Dream is definitely the word. This is big. We may just be amateur filmmakers, but thanks to this, people are actually gonna know our names. Which is why I have a proposal for you guys. We should use this momentum and hold open auditions for our next film. Why? Can't we just find someone at school? No, I can't think of any girl here who's pretty enough to star as our heroine, you know? If we open it up to the public, we can find someone with the right look. After all, we've got a reputation now. So, we only got three submissions. I guess our reputation isn't as good as we thought. Uh, she's not right. Whoa. Look at this girl. Oh, she's the one. She's perfect. I'd pick her out of a million actresses. Something wrong, Miyake? I'm just wondering if my meeting this cute girl is destiny. Might as well open this one. Oh. 
What the hell? Is this some kind of joke or something? Look at her. <gasps> Whoa, what's the matter? That's her. That's the fashion model. Mm -hmm. Wait, seriously? Maybe it just looks like the same girl. I'm telling you, it's her. There's no way I could forget that face. Why would a professional model audition for a part in an amateur student film? Look at those eyes. Even the picture freaks me out. Okay, how's this for a proposition? We cast this girl in the movie alongside our new beauty. Are you crazy? Dude, you're not actually serious about this, right? Or is it gonna be a horror movie now? Come on, hear me out. She's definitely kind of creepy for sure. But I don't think I've ever seen someone with such a unique look before. So, Tamae, you're a first year high school student? Wow, you're even more beautiful in person. Thank you. You're gonna be a star. Our heroine is a stellar role. Try not to overthink things, just act natural. Okay. I honestly can't believe we found someone who's this cute. Whoa! Hmm? I'm Fuji. Oh, right, Fuji. Join us over here. Fuji is a professional fashion model. Let me introduce you to Iwasaki. He's a really big fan of yours. I'm a what? Damn it! Why would you say that crap about me? It was a joke, but at least now I know why she weirded you out so much. Also, I had no idea she was gonna end up being so freakishly tall. Kind of worried she won't fit in the frame. <sighs> Come on, can't we tell her we're writing her part out of the project or something? What are you so worried about? She was probably nervous meeting us for the first time. She could turn out to be a real asset in front of the camera. With that much screen presence, she might just eat our little star up. I don't like this. I've got a bad feeling. Are we at least getting close? We've been riding in this car forever. Almost there. Can't you go any faster? I feel like I'm suffocating in here. You'll have all the fresh mountain air you can handle soon. Trust me, this location is absolutely perfect for the script. Completely out in the middle of nowhere. Isolated deep in the mountains and far away from people? So it really is a horror movie. <laughs> Please, don't be an idiot. This sounds like you touched a nerve. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, did you see the inside of her mouth? Yeah. Is she even a human being? Those weren't teeth. They were more like fangs. Well, what do you think? It's beautiful, right? It's gorgeous. Oh, my. Uh, I love being in remote places like this. You want to react as if the noise is coming from this direction. And then you turn. Now the camera is going to be mm -hmm. facing this way, so I want you to pause for a second mm -hmm. and then step forward. Okay. The way she's staring, I think she's into you, Iwasaki. That's not funny. Don't be such a dumbass. <sighs> hey, where are you going, man? I'm gonna go wash my face in the river. I'm starting to feel kind of nauseous. Mm hmm. <laughs> there you are. We were starting to worry. You're playing opposite our star in this scene, so you can't just... Hey, are you okay? And where's Fuji? I don't care about that freak. Let's just leave. Hurry, before she gets back. Start packing up our stuff, now! Why? What's wrong? I don't want to be around that creepy woman! What? You want to leave her out here by herself? Yeah, I do! Come on, don't you guys agree with me? But we're on the side of a mountain, in the middle of nowhere. Shh. And cut! <laughs> nice shot, Tama A. You were great in that scene. Perfect! Wow, thank you. Excuse me. Uh, 
You've been filming only her scenes for a while now. When will you be putting me in front of the camera? I'm eager to begin. Uh, right, and your role is a very critical one. Why don't we take a break first? I'm afraid that if we leave her out here, she'll just come after us wanting revenge or something. We should just film whatever and then tell her we're done with all her scenes. No, I can't do this anymore. We should run while she's not around. We can't go right now. Tama A's out there taking a break too. And Miyake is still gone. You're here! Oh, thank God! What's going on? Dude, it's terrible! Hey man, calm down. Try to catch your breath first. What's the matter, dude? I just saw Tamae out in the forest. Fuchi was eating her! Huh? I'm serious. The fashion model is literally chewing Tamae up right now. She's dead. What the hell are you talking about? Please believe me! We were fawning over Tamae this whole time, so that creepy freak killed and ate her! You have such a dark sense of humor. I'm telling you guys the truth, okay? You can see for yourself. I don't want to go back there. But how are we supposed to find them if you don't show us where they are? I believe everything he's saying. I absolutely believe she'd devour someone. You aren't really buying into any of this, are you? They were right over there by that tree. Yeah, well, I don't see anyone now. <sighs> Look! There's blood on the rocks, and here, bloodstains everywhere. Wait, it's true? Okay, but where did that bitch go? <laughs> now I am the star. Get back here! <laughs> No, guys, wait up! Don't leave me! I've got a bad feeling about today, and my hunches are usually right. Even if I try to stop it, something horrible will happen! Finally, you and I are alone together. die but i know i'm going too soon i'll be dead nothing i'll completely cease to exist i'm scared i'm scared i can't take this who's there who are you Mommy, we're fighting your disease to the best of our abilities, I promise. But we need you to hold on to hope if you're going to beat this. Why bother? It's pointless! I've seen the Grim Reaper! That is not the Grim Reaper. He's just a patient from another ward in the hospital. You're lying! No human being could look like that! I dream of him too! He's some kind of creature from the dark beyond! A creature from the dark beyond, huh? She's quite an intuitive girl, I'll give her that much. That intuition may be how she realized she was ill, and also why she fears death. A bit more than most patients, it would seem. If our Reaper has started wandering the hospital halls at night, it's gonna turn into a real problem. He's likely doing it because he's afraid to go to sleep. Actually, sir, could you tell me a little more about this special patient of yours? I imagine he'll be waking up sometime soon. Why don't we go by and pay him a visit? I don't really know much about his case at all, mostly just hospital rumors. Could you fill me in on his condition? I hear his dreams are unusual. I suppose you haven't been here long enough to hear the entire story. Tetsuro Mukura is his name. It was two months ago when he first came to the hospital. He complained he was suffering from what he called long dreams. Long dreams, huh? Could you be a little more specific, please? They're getting worse. I don't know when they started, but it was a month ago when I first noticed. I would go to sleep normally, and a single night's dream would feel like it lasted two, maybe three full days. Hmm. So, and what you mean is that they felt lengthy after you'd woken up. 
No, it's the dreams themselves that feel long, like I'm living every second of them. At first I thought I was just imagining it, but with each day they became increasingly longer, which might be fine if they were all good dreams, but there are plenty of nightmares too. So it's like being trapped in hell sometimes. Hmm. And how long do your dreams feel like they're lasting now? Well, last night's dream was one whole year. An entire year? Doctor, I'm serious. It's getting harder to tell when I'm dreaming and when I'm really awake, and it's starting to ruin my everyday life. Think about it. For me, yesterday was a year ago. A year I lived. I decided to admit him and monitor his sleep cycles. It was fairly standard procedure, all things considered. And then, on that first night... <laughs> He experienced full body convulsions and rapid eye movement. But those both ended as quickly as they had begun. His brain activity indicated he was in the deepest phase of the sleep cycle at that moment. Hey, listen to me! Wake up! Tell me, were you dreaming just now? Wait, where am I? You're in the hospital. You admitted yourself yesterday. Do you have any memory of that at all? Wait, what? Oh, I remember now. That's right, I talked to you in your office. I was dreaming. It was a nightmare. And it lasted for a year and a half. My instincts told me that this man was not lying to me. I believed that he truly was suffering from these long dreams. Doctor, when will I be cured? I want my life back. I have a few potential treatments in mind, but I need you to be patient. The dream I had last night went on for ten years. They just keep getting longer. They're only illusions. Your actual dreams are no more than a few moments long at the most. There's no reason for you to be afraid of them. No offense, but you're only saying that because you've never had a dream like mine, Doctor. You don't know how realistic they feel to me, how disturbing and terribly lonely they are. How frightening they can be. Yes, but you must understand, it's all in your mind. In the meantime, we're working diligently to find the cause of these dreams. Please, you have to hurry. Otherwise, I'm concerned that my dreams will eventually last a hundred years, maybe even more than that. If that does happen, I think I'll lose my mind. And, just as he predicted, the length of his dreams seemed to increase exponentially over time. Eventually, this became obvious to his doctors. It was like we were watching some kind of evolution of the mind unfold before us. Good morning, Tetsuro. Are you awake? What am I doing in this place? And who are you people? I'm Dr. Kuroda, your physician. Try to remember. No! Lately, he started having bizarre reactions and delusions when he first wakes up. Do you suppose he thinks he's still dreaming, living some other life? Where did my mommy go? Why isn't my wife mommy here? That's right, this is the hospital where I first met her, isn't it? Where? Where's my precious mommy? Mommy, you have to eat something. I don't feel like it. The idea of dying is... <laughs> mommy! No! That's enough. You need to go back to your room. The Reaper. That's what she called me. I remember now. It was all a dream. Doctor, I'm scared. How is this going to end? If my dreams continue to get longer, then what happens? What if they become infinite nightmares I can't wake from? If I start dreaming endless dreams, then what will become of me? Will I disappear completely? <laughs> I'm so scared! I don't Mommy, want to please! Die. Please don't fix me! It's okay, calm down. <laughs> it's unfortunate. I've never seen a patient who has such an intense fear of death before. And what about Tetsuro Mukuda? I can't imagine how far into the future he's dreamed now, or if he's capable of coming back to reality.
watched the husk of his remains blow away, I wondered if his mind had vanished into an unending dream. Later, I discovered an unidentified crystallized material within what was left of his brain. I suspected it had something to do with his unusual dreams. It was the only explanation I could think of, but I had no proof. How are you feeling today, Mommy? <clears throat> Dr. Kuroda, I'm feeling pretty good, actually. Wonderful. It's strange, though, Doctor. There is one odd thing. Lately, it seems like I dream for so long. Sir, have you noticed the differences in Mami Takishima's condition? Her appearance is starting to change too, drastically. She's looking like he did. What do you think is to blame? I've been administering the crystals I retrieved from Tetsuro Mukura's brain to her. They appear to be affecting her similarly. Uh, wait, you did what? Her fear of dying and the end of her existence in this world consumed her. Even if I knew another approach, that mindset would negate any treatment. But what if she could dream an eternal dream instead? It would amount to her life never ending, at least not in her mind. Even if, in reality, it was all just an illusion. Oh. If humanity actually had the means to lose themselves in endless dreams, think of what that would mean for us as a species. We would be able to permanently rid ourselves of the fear of death, just as Mummy has. <laughs> <laughs>